Francois Dominique Toussaint Louverture never visited uh, Britain or any of the islands which constituted the British West Indies. However, his influence on the end of slavery in the British Empire and other European countries was most profound. This is because he led the largest and most successful slave revolt in history. Welcome to another episode of the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, take a moment to do so. Thank you. Francois Dominique Toussaint, who later adopted the name Loveture, is believed to have been born a slave around 1743 on a plantation in San Domingue. Toussaint's parents were people who had been captured from Africa. Some accounts report that he was uh, educated by a man named Pierre Baptiste, who was a free man. He also received um, some education from Jesuit missionaries and had medical knowledge based on African and Creole herbal medical techniques. Now, San Domingue, as Haiti was then uh, known, produced coffee, sugar, cocoa, indigo, and was one of the most prosperous colonies in the world. However, the wealth of this colony depended on the blood and sweat of African slaves. Now, in spite of all the wealth that was being um, made by the French and other European colonists in Saint-Domingue, the slaves in this colony were, uh, suffered some of the worst treatments by both male and female uh, colonizers. An exceptionally intelligent uh, child, Francois Dominique Toussaint, had a good command of um, French, in addition to Creole. He al was also well informed about works of enlightenment uh, uh, thinkers like um, Abe Renal, who wrote against uh, slavery. Some accounts show that he gained his freedom around 1776, when he was in his early 30s. His freedom then allowed him to accumulate a level of, um, of wealth. Although some accounts try to um, deride his um, accumulation of wealth uh, by saying that uh, he made his uh, fortune by running a, a plantation with the slaves. Now, while I'm not attempting to exonerate him, I think we should note that virtually all the founding fathers of the U.S. were slave owners. At that time in San, in San Domingue, there could not have been very many other ways to make a, a livelihood. However, what Toussaint did, what makes him significant um, to us, is what he did with his wealth. Although he started out um, trying to bargain with um, uh, slave owners for better conditions for enslaved people, he later changed and fought for complete abolition of slavery and independence for Saint-Domingue. Now, starting around um, 1789, free people of color in Saint-Domingue, like Toussaint, were inspired by the French Revolution, which was going on in France, um, to demand freedom for all and equality. By August 1791, slaves who made up the majority of the, the population on the island carried out a voodoo ceremony to flag off a rebellion. Now, a, a few weeks after the rebellion started, um, Toussaint, 
who was a pragmatic person, joined the rebellion, although by then he was already a free man. He started by serving as a, a doctor to the rebellious uh, troops. And uh, from this position, he rose to be one of the leaders of the rebellion. He rose to become a significant military leader and adopted uh, the name Louverture, uh, which has been translated into English to mean the person who opened the way. So I, I think the name must have been significant uh, for him because of what he planned to do with the rest of his life. In order to drive home his uh, point about freedom, Lovetor uh, used the same language that the uh, revolutionaries in France were using um, to insist um, from their uh, monarchs that they wanted to be treated uh, with um, equality. So he used the same language that uh, French uh, revolutionaries in France used against the monarchic system to argue for the liberation of his own country. If the French thought uh, equality was a necessity, you know, he insisted that, you know, enslaved people in, in Saint-Domingue also deserved the same um, level of uh, equality uh, from their colonizers. So rather than support the um, call for freedom and equality by the slaves in Saint-Domingue, France decided to send troops to fight the revolutionaries that was by that time being led by Toussaint Louverture. But the French army was soundly defeated. And by the end of 1791, the French were forced to abolish slavery on Saint-Domingue. Now, since Spain, Britain, and other European uh, countries, which owned slave colonies, um, had not yet abolished uh, slavery at that time, Toussaint believed um, that the French uh, uh, revolutionaries in France would help him uphold the freedom that um, he and his people had gained in Saint-Domingue. Um, and uh, just as he suspected, as soon as the British saw that the French had um, been defeated in Saint-Domingue, they went all out to try and overtake the colony. Britain invested millions of pounds by sending soldiers to try and capture uh, Saint-Domingue. And re enslaved the people. Uh, this was in 1793. The attempt ended up in an expensive and most humiliating failure for Britain, whose troops were forced to withdraw in um, 1798. Toussaint's rebels were able to defeat the British using um, what historian Sudir. Has a rethink describes as psychological warfare. By defeating the British army, Lovichor showed Britain what enslaved people who were determined to fight for their freedom could achieve. Out of over 20,000 um, British soldiers sent to Saint Domingue, during the five years of the of fighting of trying to capture the uh, uh, the colony, more than sixty percent of them were killed. The few who were left, some of the surviving British soldiers uh, officers, when they returned to Britain, were so overwhelmed by the determination and the um, uh, and uh, the way in which the rebels uh, defeated them, that they joined the abolitionist movement because they were convinced that the slaves who had defeated them deserved to be free. They had and that they had a right to uh, an ability to run and determine their own affairs. After this victory against the British, the French made Toussaint Louverture 
deputy governor of the colony. But rather than just rest on the glory of being elevated to the position of deputy governor, he went after and conquered Santa Domingo, uh, present-day Dominican, which was then under Spanish uh, rule. He proceeded as, on conquering that uh, part of the, of the colony. He proceeded to then ban slavery there as well um, as a way of um, kind of maybe celebrating his victory over the Spaniards. Anyway, the revolt which Toussaint led lasted about 12 years. Starting in 1791, it was the most sustained and most successful rebellion, uh, slave rising in any, uh, any part of the world. By 1801, Toussaint Louverture and others fighting for uh, liberation had ended slavery on, on the island and he was governor of the entire island made up of uh, French Saint-Domingue and um, Santa uh, Domingo. And for the first time, anywhere in the Northern Hemisphere, Toussaint created an atmosphere in which black people, uh, people of mixed race, and white people coexisted as equals. It had never been heard of. He was, however, tricked and ousted by the French under Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, Toussaint Louverture was deceived into attending a meeting where he was arrested and then sent to prison in France. He died there of pneumonia and malnutrition in April 1803. However, his immortal words ring true even today. And I quote, They have in me struck down but the trunk of the tree. The roots are many and deep. They will shoot up again. Though he died in prison, the revolt which he uh, led had far-reaching effects. It began the transformation of the French colony of Saint-Domingue into the independent country of Haiti. He also wrote his country's first constitution. Most significantly, Toussaint Louverture's um, revolt undermined France as a major slave old holding power. He also paved the way for Haitian independence which allowed abolitionists um, in the British Parliament to defeat the arguments which had been put forward by pro-slavery politicians that if Britain abolished slavery uh, or slave trade, then France, uh, which was Britain's arch enemy, would take it over and become more powerful than Britain. Not long after... Um, Toussaint's death, like he had rightly predicted that others would rise. Haitian independence was attained in 1804 after the French army under Napoleon Bonaparte was thoroughly defeated by the black people in the colony. Now, their success in defeating Napoleon Bonaparte proved to enslave people all over the Caribbean, that they could rise up against oppression, fight for their freedom, and win. Toussaint and the people of um, Haiti proved to black people all over the world that they had the ability to withstand and defeat European might, even in spite of having very limited resources. I'd like to end this uh, episode on this legendary figure with another of his famous quotes to remind us of our responsibility as Africans and people of African descent everywhere in the world. I took up arms for the freedom of my color. It is our own. We will defend it 
or perish. Thank you very much for being a part of this um, episode of the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please subscribe if you've not yet done so. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And feel free to share with your friends. See you next time.